What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video. So, hot topic. Love them. Hate them. They have some really cool exclusives that I chased for a couple months. Oh, I got a giant blister, by the way, at work. Um, but their shipping is usually garbage. So, and sometimes it's their fault and sometimes it's not. So, I've gotten... A pop from them before. No box. Just in a bag. There was no sorter. There was nothing. They just tossed it in a bag and called it a day. I was annoyed. Because these boxes take so much beating in travels. I don't care if you're right. Fragile, I think, takes a beating. So, it, they are less beat up if you put a fragile sticker on. But they still take a beating. But they like to ship things in bags. They're like, that's the... Easiest way for them to ship, or whatever kind of not. I remember when they told me. They said they ship based upon what the item fits in. Let that rattle around your brain for a minute because I'm going to tell you something. They ship the Mickey in a bag. Not the problem like this, the Mickey in this. They ship that in a bag with no pop, with no, no protection at all, just in a bag. And I got it freaking damaged. Um, they shipped my last shipment. That I got was the Jack. And what else did I get? Tinkerbell and uh, Hanako. Hanako and Tinkerbell came in a pop sorter in the box. Jack just was loose. No bubble wrap. And he took damage. And he actually looks like he took more damage before he made shipped. So he took all types of damage. Somewhere between packing and shipping. And then getting to my house. He took all types of damage. He, it's not a horrible condition, but I'm probably going to buy another one so I can take that one out of the box. Um, the black light ones, they shipped in a in the sorter, and they shipped it in a box. So it was double boxed. They were great. They came, they came great. They look amazing. And then the one that I've been chasing for a couple months. <sighs> I'm sad. Well... That's sad. So, I'm 50-50 on this. So, here's where I stand. They shipped it in a bag, but they shipped it in a sorter. The sorter took damage. So, it took a bump somewhere along the, sh on the line. Now, I'm not sure if it was damaged before they shipped it, if it got took damage in shipping, but it took a bump somewhere. It looks like it landed on the corner of something. It looked like it landed hard, just enough to put it down in it. Okay, I didn't notice it at first, because when I saw it, the sorter, I was like, sweet, this looks great. It's in a sorter, it'll be fine. Unfortunately, when I picked it up and took it out of the box, I found out the box was damaged because the sorter was damaged. So, that's because Funko shipped it in a bag again. Now, it did come in a sorter. Usually, sorters protect things. But this looks like this hit a corner pretty hard, hard enough that it did damage to the sorter, which actually pushed through the cardboard and did damage to the box. So if you're in the box collector, this is not something that you like to see. And it kind of breaks your heart. Now, my wife goes, what are we going to do? Take it back? I said, I can't. What am I going to do? Get my money back? Because this pop has been kind of, at, at retail price, has been escaping me for like over two months, maybe three months. I've been trying to get this pop. I will be on every day that I get an alert for it that's back in stock trying to grab it. And the one day I spent an, almost an hour trying to buy it because they said it was in stock, but Hot Topic kept having issues. And then by the time the issues were done, it was now saying it was out of stock. So, and usually when I see the notification that this pop is out of stock, it, it is in stock by the time I get to it, it doesn't matter if it's 5 minutes, 10 minutes, or 30 seconds. Hot Topic says out of stock, so I'm not returning this pop or getting my money back for it. I'm just going to keep it as is and enjoy it because the front looks good. The back is the back of the pop has a little bit of damage. So, Hot Topic, I love you for some of the stuff you get. Um, I hate you for your online customer service and how you ship stuff. So now you're going to ask, what did you get? Well, I'll show you 
the sorter. And then I'll show you the damage. And then I'll show you the pop and the damage. So, anyway. So, when I got it in a bag, I reopened it. So it's not, not a sorter anymore. This is the sorter. This side, perfect. This side, a giant looks like it hit a corner right here. And that worried me when I, so I had like, like laying on the table like this. When I picked it up like this, I was like, oh, there's something not feeling right. So I opened it up. And it's weird because I can feel that. And this is why I say that I don't think it took, it didn't take a huge, it was enough force to do damage that it didn't even damage the inside of the sorter. Look at the inside of the sorter. The inside of the sorter is fine. But. Where that dink is, was right here. And you can see, right here is where I took damage. Now, am I complaining about that? Yes and no. Because I'm not getting rid of this pop. I'm keeping this pop. Um, when I took damage, there's a crease mark there. There's a dent. And right here, and it feels like there's something sticky on it, too. So you kind of, I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but you can kind of, you might be able to see the the dent that it took. But the front looks amazing. I, I I have been trying to get my hands on this pop at a retail price for a while now. It's stitched with boba. This thing is freaking amazing. And the box the front of the the box looks great. So I'm definitely keeping it. I'm probably gonna put him in a protector because he's been evading me for a while. So Someone goes, well, why would you keep it? Well, because he's been invading me. Like, I I looked him up on eBay, and I would love to get another one, not to replace it, but to take one out of box and leave one in box. But I was looking on eBay. I was like, hey, so he's hard to get. Maybe he's super expensive. Well, he's not super expensive. He's like 36 to 40 bucks, give or take, on eBay uh, shipped. Um, he is, he cost me in store. Uh, fourteen ninety. So you're looking two, two and a half, two to three times uh, retail price for him on eBay, which isn't horrible. I just don't want to pay those, but I might buy another one just to have a good one in box without damage, and then one out of box because I really, really like this figure, and I want to keep have one permanently out of box. I, I'll probably have him out of box. So. He's been evading me. He's definitely been evading me. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty cool pop, though. If you if you really really, really want to see this pop, ah, stupid glare. I hate like I hate. I need a new camera setup. Um, where I don't get the weird computer glare. This this stitch looks so cool. There's the side, the back, the other side. Yeah, I absolutely love this pop. So. He is going to stay with me. And I'll probably buy another one and eventually take this out of the box. Uh, I have the Jumbo Stitch. I think I just bought Lilo. Did I buy Lilo and Stitch? I don't remember. I mean, Lilo with uh, Pudge, I don't remember. But I bought Lilo. And I think I might have bought the regular Stitch. But I have the Jumbo one, so I might have to buy Lilo and Pudge. We'll see. I might just finish the set. We'll see what I got coming in before I buy anything else because I... Kind of forgot what I have coming in. I need to go back and look things up. So, my suggestion is for a topic, just send stuff in a box. I know those bags are cheap, and I get it's a budget move. But these box, these bags suck. The fact that even a protector didn't protect this pop, a sorter, well, not protector, but a sorter didn't protect this pop, annoys me to no end. Just send it in a box. Double. Just, just send this order. You've done it before. You sent me a. You sent me the Hanaku and the Tinkerbell in sorters in a box with a Jack Skeleton, which you did not protect in any way, shape, or form. So the box took a little damage on the back. Again, the front looks fine. The back is damaged. The plastic shield that he's in is damaged. Like it has a hole in it. It's damaged. Uh, the top's fine though. Um, so I'll probably keep him. I'll probably go buy another one of those and, uh, keep one in box, take one out of box. But the fact that you guys 
No, you guys had enough complaints about this because you have told me we receive complaints like this daily and we pretty much tell people the same thing if the figure isn't damaged. You know, kind of SOL. You can take it back to the store if you want. Blah, 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 blah. That is not the point. I know you're in the business to make money, but we as collectors are in the hobby of enjoying something. And Funko is our enjoyment. I know you've got the hot topic. You don't care, and I get that, but just stating my two cents. So that's just kind of how I feel about it. I'm sad that this pop took damage in the box. I'm sad the back of the box damage. I'm happy that the front of the box looks great. Um, he's going to go up on the shelf up there. I need to get more bookshelves. I think I want to tear down all of that. I want to move. I, wanna, I have shelves for this. I just don't, I don't, I don't remember where I put the pegs for that. So I can put my DVDs on that. Slide that over. Put two new bookshelves behind me is my goal. Um. But yeah, I need to change that up a little bit. But that being said, if you've made it this far, hit that like button. Let me know that you like this type of stuff. If you like the stuff that I do from fungos to lounge fly to ears to I just random stuff. I posted the concert the other day that I went to. Trying to get some my, my wife for it into my channel. We have a channel that we need to get active again. But if you like this stuff, hit the subscribe button. Um, I would love if you guys subscribe. If you don't want to listen to me babble for 10, 12, 15 minutes, go check out my TikTok. I'm on the road to a thousand followers on TikTok. Mostly Funko stuff, lounge fly, ears. A little bit of everything. I posted the concert over there. People absolutely loved my video that I posted over there. So I highly recommend you check that out. And you guys enjoy that. Um, but. Shimey013 is my TikTok. Before I forget to tell you. Because my brain just won't. Check that out. Um, Shimey013. Same as my YouTube name. Somewhere below, above, I don't know where it is anymore. YouTube changes things up when I blink. And until next time, take it easy. Have a good one. Peace.